Welcome to our channel Study Hub 10th class. So friends, today we are going to discuss about the topic Fundamental Theorem of Arithmetic. Fundamental Theorem of Arithmetic. What does the statement say friends? Every composite number can be expressed as the product of prime numbers. Every composite number can be expressed as the product of prime numbers. So friends, I hope you have understood that every composite number can be expressed as the product of prime numbers. So, how we are going to express composite numbers as the product of prime numbers? Let us check with an example. So, let us take 210 as an example. Let us try to factorize this. I know. I know. I should explain what is a composite number, what is a prime number, what is prime factorization and why we are learning all this. I will explain you in detail. But, for now, let us check what is fundamental theorem of arithmetic and what is it saying composite number can be expressed as a product of prime numbers. Let us factorize this one. See friends, 210, we can write it in the 2 multiples. 2 into 2 ones are 2. And 1 is not divisible by 2, so we take 0. And what is remaining? 10. 2 5s are 10. Okay friends, now 105 we need to factorize. Means we need to uh, reduce it into simplest form of numbers friends 105 uh, how we can solve by using 3 3 3 is a 9 and what is remaining 10 a uh, 1 1 1 after 5 15 3 5 is a 15 and friends 2 into 3 we have already got 35 we can write as 5 into 7 friends you have to understand 210 we have reduced it to simplest terms like 2 into 3 into 5 into 7 uh, just multiply with me 2 3 is a 6. 6 5 is a 30. 30 7 is a 3 7 is a 21 and 0. 2 10. 2 10. This is what the fundamental theorem of arithmetic explained French. That every composite number. I will explain you what is a composite number, what is a prime number, how we are factorizing. I will explain you all in detail but just for now try to understand the statement French. 2 10 is expressed as 2 into 3 into 5 into 7. See friends. Is there any necessity, like, is there any rule that we need to write it 2, 3, 5, 7? Let us check it in a different way. 2, 10, I will solve. See, when I see 2, 10, I get into my 3 into 7. So, I can write 3 into 70. This is also a type of reduction, friends. We have reduced it. And 70, what I can write? 5. 1s are 5, 20, 14, 3 5s are 15, 15 into 40, 2 10, and 3 into 5 into 14, we can write 2 into 7. Friends, do you find any difference between 2, 3, 5, 7, 3, 5, 2, 7? Is there any difference? Yes, there is a difference that the order of the prime numbers, I call them as prime numbers, and I am going to explain you. How, why they are considered as prime numbers but for now see the prime numbers the numbers are same 2 2 3 3 5 5 7 7 all are same but what is the difference friends the order the order of them is different this is what exactly the fundamental theorem of arithmetics says friends every composite number can be expressed as the product of prime numbers followed by there is a unique way of representing these composite numbers in the form of prime numbers unique way means unique way means friends whatever the numbers we get here we get here also and it also says this representation in the form of prime numbers is unique but the order of the prime numbers occurring can be different the order of the prime numbers occurring can be different friends like 2 3 5 7 3 5 2 7 okay so, I hope you have understood what is fundamental theorem of arithmetic trying to tell. Okay. Why do we solve only 210? Let us take some big example. Because there is one more small concept in this theorem which I want to explain you when I take a little bigger number as an example. Like, let us take the example of 1, 2, 6, double, 0. Okay. See, when I see 126 and zeros. I understand that it is easily divisible by 2. So, 2 into 
Right? We can take 2 6 are 12, 2 3 are 6, and 2 zeros occur. And 6 3 is double zero, 2 into 9 7 zero. So we can write 7 into 9 hundred. 9 7 are 63, 2 zeros. And after that, 2 into 7 is a prime number, friends. Can we reduce 7? Like, do we have any factors for 7? Okay, I'm sorry, I did not explain you what are factors and what is a prime number. So we are going to discuss that in detail. And 900, I can write as 3 into 300 and 2 into 7 into 3 into this 300, we can reduce. So friends, as we are getting so much lengthy, this I will do in one step, friends. Like 3 into 100. 100 I can write 2 into 50. 50 I can write 2 into 25. 25 I can write 5 into 5. So friends, as we have seen in before example like 210, we are going to arrange them. How? In any manner. In any manner. But what the fundamental theorem of arithmetic says means, we need to arrange them in ascending order. All the prime factors which we have reduced the composite numbers to prime factors, these prime factors we are going to arrange them in an ascending order friends. For example, what are the smallest ones? 2. Let us write all 2 in the first. After 2, what is the uh, next biggest number friends? 3. So 3 into 3. After that, 5. So here lies, here lies the one more important concept which the fundamental theorem of arithmetic says, friends, when the same primes are written together, so when the same primes are written together, they become their powers. Like they, they can be replaced in terms of their powers. See, friends, how many twos we have? One, two, three. So three twos will give two cube. Two threes will give three power two. And two fives will give five power two and seven. Okay, friends, I hope everyone are clear with the concepts of fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Let me tell you, let me just uh, revise the fundamental theorem of arithmetic for one second, for, uh, for a little bit. So statement, every composite number can be expressed as the product of prime numbers. So these prime numbers, we are going to arrange them in an ascending order. Okay? There is unique way of representing, means whatever the primes we get, we get every time when we uh, factorize that number, we are going to get the same. Whatever the method you follow, we, we will get the same primes, friends. That is one thing. And one more thing, we are going to arrange them in increasing order. And the other important thing is, when the same primes are written together, they can be replaced with their powers. So these are all the important concepts of fundamental theorem of arithmetic. So now let us discuss what is a prime number, what is a factor, and what is a composite number in detail. So, what is a factor? A factor, if a number, let us take a number x. So, if a number x is divisible by z. Let us consider x is a number and it is divisible by z. Then, z is considered as the factor of x. So, let us consider a number x. And, if the number is divisible by z, then z is considered as the factor of x. If we take 12, 12 is divisible by 2. So 2 is a, we can say 2 as a factor of 12. If we take 12 again, 12 is divisible by 3. So 3 is also a factor of 12. Let us see what are all the factors of 12. Because 12 is divisible by 1, 12 is divisible by 2, 12 is divisible by 3, 12 is divisible by 4, 12 is divisible by 6, 12 is divisible by 12 itself. So let us check friends. So 12. In one table, we can write 1, 12 is a 12. Okay. Next, after 1, 2, if we take 2, 2, 6 is a 2, 6 is a 12. So, what does this 2 into 6 means? 2 into 6, 12 means 12 is divisible by 2 and 12 is also divisible by 6. Next, after 2, if we take 3, 3, 4 is a 12. Again, we get 3, 4 is a 12. So, 12 is divisible by 3. 12 is divisible by 4. So 3 comma 4 are also factor of factors of 12. So uh, try to understand it easily friends. All the multiples when multiplied if they give the number so they will be the factors of that number. See now the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 
6 and 12. These are all the factors of 12. See, 12 is divisible by 1, 12 is divisible by 2, 12 is divisible by 3, 12 is divisible by 4, 6, 12. Okay, let us take one more example so that you will understand in detail. Let us take 18 as an example. Okay, 1, 18 is a, 1, 18 is a, 18. After 1, 2, 2, 9 is a, 3, 6 is a. After 3, 4. If we take 4 table, uh, do we get 18 in 4 table? 4, 4 is a 16, 4, 5 is a 20. So, we don't get 18 in 4 table. So, 4 is not a factor of 18. And after 4, 5. In 5 table, do we get 18? 5 3 is a 15, 5 4 is a 20. We don't get 18. So, 5 is also not a factor of 18. After that, 6. 6 3 is a 18. But we have already got 3 into 6. So, 18 factors we get 1, comma, 2, comma, 3, comma, 6, comma, 9, comma, 18. Okay, friends. Now, let us learn, let us learn prime number, friends. What is a prime number? A number which have only 1 and itself as a factor is called a prime number. So, what is a prime number? A number which have only 1 and itself as a factor are called prime numbers. Let us see friends. Let us take uh, 3. So, we have already understood what is a factor. Okay. 18, we can write 2 into 9. So, 2 and 9 are factors of 18. Okay. 3, we can write 1 into 3. Other than that, is any other operation possible friends for 3? No. So, for 3, only 1 and 3 are factors. So, the statement, a number, a number, which have only 1 and itself, only 1 and itself as factors. So, now 3 has only 1 and 3 as its factors. So, 3 is a prime number. Let us take one more example, friends. Let us take 11. 11, we can write 1 into 11. Can we do any other operation? 1 into 11 is 11. Uh, can you simplify 11 into the product of any two other numbers? No, not possible. So, 1 and 11 are factors of 11. So, 11 is a prime number because this number have only 1 and itself as prime numbers. So, let me give you, so I think you have got a good, uh, clear idea of what are prime numbers and let me give you some examples of prime numbers. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, so on friends. We have so many prime numbers. So, prime numbers. Uh, one more thing friends, prime numbers, these cannot be expressed as multiple, multiplication of other two numbers. Unlike 18, 18 can be expressed as 3 into 6 or 2 into 9. For example, before we have seen for 12, 12 we can express as 2 into 6, 3 into 4, so many other. So, this cannot be expressed as the multiplication of two other numbers. So, what are composite numbers, friends? The statements itself suggest the numbers other than primes. So, the numbers which are other than primes are all composite numbers. Like, means, we can conclude from this, a prime number, a number which have only one and itself as factor, but the composite number which have more factors than one and itself. For example, let us take four. 4, we can write 1 into 4 and 2 into 2. So, for 4, we have 1 and 4 and 2 also as a factor. So, 4 is a composite number because it has more factors than 1 and itself. So, let me give you examples of composite numbers. See, uh, write the numbers, just keep the prime numbers. So, 1, we are not going to take it as a composite number, friends. 1 is not a prime, not a composite. So, 2, 3, gone. What is remaining? 4. 5 gone. 6. 7 gone. 8, 9, 10. After 11, 11 gone. After 11, we have 12. And 13 is a prime. So we have 14, 15, 16. See friends, for every one, if you, if you take 6, we can write 1 into 6 and again 2 into 3. So more factors than 1 and itself. 8. We can write 1 into 2, 1 into 8, 2 into 4, so more than 1, 1 and itself. 9, we can write 1 into 9, 3 into 3, 10, 1 into 10, 2 into 5, 12, 1 into 12, 
we have already seen for the value okay 14 1 into 14 2 into 7 15 1 into 15 3 into 5 16 4 into 4 and uh, 2 into 8 1 into 16 so more factors so these are composite numbers so friends factor prime numbers and composite numbers so all this we are going to use in prime factorization so so this is the topic finding HCF and LCM using prime factorization so this is the very important concept of this real numbers topic French which we are going to discuss in our next session thank you for watching please do subscribe like and share and encourage us thank you so much friends